On this episode of Too Many Project Garage, we're doing something a little different today. We're gonna install some lights on my mower so I can mow when it's actually a little bit cooler, not when the sun's directly overhead. So let's get to it. The dogs are joining us today. They're interested in whatever's going on over at that Civic. So we've got Oxbeam sent us some lights to put on our mower here. I think it'll be pretty neat. Water resistant and everything. It's meant to go on a car, but you can put it on anything you want lights to be on. ATV, even your moped. It would be a little overkill for your moped, but you never know. So we're gonna get to mounting these. We had to make, make a bracket and we're gonna attach it right here where this nut and stud is. We're gonna have it come off right here and they're gonna kinda point kinda like that. So should be pretty cool. They include a real long cable, a little overkill for the mower, but it's perfect if you have like a car or something you want to put it in. You got a, a switch, a relay, and a, fuse. and a fuse, so it's protected. Here's the switch, very nice. And then you've got your connectors here, which is cool. So we're gonna get it all hooked up Basically first and test it out and then we'll uh, mount them. All right guys, we got them hooked up. Woo! Nice and bright. It's pretty exciting. There are spotlights. I kind of wish I'd have got floodlights, but that's okay. Spotlights will still work and uh, they'll be good enough. I'll just have them kind of pointing directly kind of in front of me down a little. We can adjust them at night when it gets a little darker. But we got the easy part done and that was hooking it up. Now we got to do the hard part where we're mounting them and like wire managing. So we'll be back here in a second once we get that started. Woo! So with the judicious use of zip ties, we have secured the wire. We don't want to shorten the wires just because that's a pain. And if we ever need to use this wiring harness on something else, let's say we change this out in the future, we want to use it on a different vehicle or whatever. All we got to do is cut these zip ties and uh, it'll work for whatever else we want to do it on. If, or let's say I get a new lawnmower one day, if this one goes out on me, then I can easily swap that harness over to whatever I want to. Check this out. So the brackets fit like perfectly right here on the side and it's gonna slide in like right there and then it's gonna be just pointing straight where we want it to be. So it couldn't be more perfect and they include everything you need in terms of tools to make it work except for a wrench, but we can do that. So that won't even be hard. And just like that, we've got the headlights on my mower. What do you guys think? Put in the comments below what you think. Pretty nice, huh? We even zip tied a little, the switch right here, so it's easily accessible. Pretty nice, and you can still adjust them slightly. So if we need to re-aim them, they can be adjusted just fine. So we'll get some uh, shots of mowing later today when it's a little darker, so we can actually t give a good old test on these lights. It'll be really nice. All thanks to Oxbeam for sending me these lights. I really appreciate it. We're gonna go put this on the toolbox. So Oxbeam is gonna get a place of honor on my toolbox. The first sponsor is gonna go right here. What do you guys think? I think it'll look really sweet. Try to do it without ripping the actual sticker. It'd be a nice, a nice idea. There you go. Line it up perfectly. Or as perfect as I can make it. Not great. <laughs> That's not too bad. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Hopefully we'll have a bunch more to fill out this space. So if any sponsors want to reach out and want to add to this, I'd be happy to put your sticker there. See what it looks like. Boom. Looks good. Wow. I can really see very well now. They are definitely spotlights. I think floodlights would be better in the future, but for now, these will work really well, I think. So let's give it a shot. Let's mow it. Minute on there, so. Of course, right when I go to mow that little last piece of grass with the fancy new lights, the mower doesn't want to start. When we found out it's the fuel pump, the little tube that goes from the diaphragm, or sorry, to the diaphragm from the uh, crankcase that actuates the pump stopped working like crack so we're trying to epoxy it back together just as a quick fix and i'll order a you know something nicer later 
just so that way we can get this last little bit of yard mode because it's kind of annoying at being tall. Plus, we want to show you guys the cool new lights. And that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Just putting lights on your mower actually worth it? I think so, because now I can mow at night, whereas I couldn't before. Assuming it's not too late, you don't want to wake up the neighbors. But I think it turned out really good, other than that little small issue where I had starting the, uh, the lawnmower. We think it has something to do with the fuel pump, so I'm probably just going to buy an extra one just in case. Can't hurt, right? But other than that, it went really well. I'm super happy with it. And uh, I want to thank my members, and I'll talk to you guys next time on Too Many Projects Garage.